Hey guys, it's Tap Attack, and in this video I'm going to show you how to check diodes, transistors, and voltage regulators using a multimeter. And this is a fluke multimeter. So this is important because if your TV shut down, it has no power, or you have a blown fuse in the power board, it can be a shorted transistor or a diode or a voltage regulator will pop a fuse. So I'm going to show you how to check these parts, and hopefully this video will help you out. Let's get started. So this board right here, this doesn't look like a typical fuse, but I know it's a fuse because it's labeled F1, and you read it like that, and it's good. You read this fuse right here, and that fuse is good as well. So we know these fuses on this main video board is good. Here's another board right here, and this doesn't look like a typical diode. This is a surface mounted diode, and I would read that right here, put my black lead on the stripe side, and my red lead on the opposite and I would get a reading of 0.4 and I do and I reverse it and it should read OL and it does if it doesn't read the, the proper way always take it out of circuit to be sure so right here as you see is a diode and a diode's job is to let the voltage in one way and block it the other way and if you see that stripe side on the diode that stripe side on the diode is the cathode. That is the negative side. The opposite side is the positive, obviously, and that's called the anode. And that's important to know because when you're reading it with the meter, you're gonna need to know what, uh, put your red lead on and your black lead. So I'm gonna show you how to read that right now. Put your meter in diode mode, and this is a symbol for diode mode. Red lead on this side, and my black lead on the stripe side, and I'm getting 0.5. Now here's some more examples of diodes. So I got this diode right here, it's a brand new diode. I put my black lead on the stripe side of the diode. I should get a reading between 0.3 to 0.7. 0.5, that's right in the middle. Good. Um, here's another diode and I put my black lead on the stripe side, which is the negative side of the diode, and I'm reading 0.7, it's good. And then reverse my meter leads, and I'm getting nothing, no reading. So it's allowing voltage in one way and blocking it the other. It's doing its job, so that's a good diode. Here are some bigger diodes, which you'll find in a power supply. So these are uh, high watt diodes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my black lead on the stripe side, and my red lead on the other side, 0.3. That's pretty good. And then reverse my leads right here. And no reading. It's doing its job. It's good. Here's another uh, diode right here below it. And I'm getting no reading this way. And put my black lead where the stripe side is, the cathode. And I'm reading 0.19. So I would replace that. 0.19 is too low. You want to replace that diode. But if you're reading the diode and you get a short signal, like this shorted transistor right here, 0.001, you want to um, replace that diode. And here's a um, transistor that's opened. So it reads no reading this way, reverse my leads, no reading this way. Same thing goes for this diode. If I get no reading this way and reverse my leads, and I got no reading this way, then that is considered an open diode. That's bad diode. Now another way to read a diode is on ohms. And a uh, symbol for ohms, it looks like a horseshoe. So uh, here's a diode that's brand new. I put my black lead on the stripe side, which is a negative cathode, and I get a reading, 2 meg. And then reverse it, and no reading. So that's a, it's doing its job. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna test this diode I know is bad. And I'm gonna put my black lead on the stripe side, which is the negative. And I'm reading 7K. And then reverse my leads, and I should get no reading. And I do get a reading. It's a little glitchy, but I, it looks like it's reading something. It's trying to read something. So I would replace that. So in diode mode, it reads bad. And in ohm mode on my meter, it reads bad also as well. Transistor like a NPN transistor. NPN transistor, negative, positive, negative, is similar to two diodes 
intertwine like that. But you can't actually put this in circuit. You won't get a transistor reaction in the circuit if you do this because there's more to this transistor than just twisting two diodes together. But this is pretty much similar to a transistor, an NPN transistor, negative, positive, negative. So now this is a real transistor. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to read that and put my black lead at the end, my red lead right here in the middle, leave my red lead in the middle, and put my black lead on the other end, and oh, I get OL and OL. So this is, this is gonna be a PNP. I get 0.4 right here, and 0.4. A transistor would have a, a emitter, collector, and a base. And a transistor is similar to uh, kind of like a switch. So think of a transistor as a switch. It turns things on and off. And the gate is the switch. This transistor right here is a PNP transistor. because I get a reading on the outs, uh, I get a, a reading because I, I put my um, red lead, I can put my positive lead on the end right here and I get a reading on both ends of this transistor, positive and positive. So it's a PNP transistor. Now here's another transistor. This transistor I read, it's bad. I'm going to show you. So I was going to show you and use this one as a reference because it reads good. And this one I'm going to put right here. Put my black lead in the middle. And I get OL. And I get a reading right here. 0.2. Now if I reverse my meter. And I put my red now in the middle. My black at the end. I get OL which is open loop or open line over limit. So it's open right here on both ways. So it reads open both ways right here. So it's kind of like blown, like blown fuse almost. And then I put my meter right here in the middle. And I get a, a reading. 0.3 this way. And then I reverse it and I get a reading again. 0.2. So this is definitely bad. So you're, you're getting voltage going back and forth. The, on the right side and on the left side it's wide open so this is definitely a bad transistor here's another transistor I took out of circuit and I replaced it from a power supply that was uh, had a blown fuse and I'm going to show you this one I'm going to put my black lead in the middle and it reads shorted and then I put it on the other side and it reads shorted and shorted is, that's what shorted is it's basically um, conducting straight through and it's not acting like a semiconductor at all so no matter how I put my leads whether it's the red lead in the middle or the black lead in the middle I'm still reading short so these two are definitely bad and hopefully you're learning something from this video here's the um, this is similar to a voltage regulator And this is a, a ground tab. And I put my meter right here, I get 0.6. So you, you have to look up the schematics on this, actually this one particularly. And you look up the part number, and they should have the pin out, and it'll tell you how to read it. Uh, this is 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, uh, 0.1. This could be the ground pin, so don't think that's shorted. Uh, point one is not good. OL. And this could be a ground pin too, so you can't really, you have to know the pin out on this. And this is reading 003, which is kind of a short signal. 
and this is reading 0.6. So. so anyway, that's how you read transistors and voltage regulators and diodes. Let me know if this video helped you out. If it did, give me a head and give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if you want more videos coming to you, just subscribe to Tampa Tech. And also, if you know this video may help someone or if you have a tech blog and you want to share it on your tech blog, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G Plus or your tech blog. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.